Okay, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Tiana, is Ray supposed to be able to go back onto Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Advance version, most likely? Well, I'll explain more details about this particular topic later on throughout the majority of this video. So, with that being said, though, it's going to be the second Kirby uploading schedule for this week so far. So hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only Tiana here once again, and I am back for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos, as you probably expect at this point in time. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more Let's Play of Kirby's Return of Dreamlands Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch, basically based off from Kirby's Return of Dreamland back on the Nintendo Wii. So last time, we essentially did manage to able to get started with the forms of the extra mode by going through the first world in that particular run, and that's of course, Kooky Country, which is overall pretty easy, despite the fact that I somehow accidentally just somehow got the first death of this run, mainly because of the forms of that particular half um, health meter as far as I'm concerned. In addition to that though, sometimes I'm just a little bit too hasty when it comes to able to keep on running over by the forms of not only uh, getting touched by the forms of certain enemies, but it's also with the forms of some obstacles here and there as well. So today for this video is about the fact that we're about to be able to go onto the forms of the second world during the forms of any extra mode, and that's what appears to be Raisin Ruins. So, Everything else will be pretty much expected at this point in time, so of course that we still need able to actually try to find some more energy spheres during that specific period. And on top of all that stuff though, everything else will be pretty much expected, so not much else to say about this honestly. Now let's get to the forms of that particular topic of how come there was a lack of uh, Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance version uploading schedules in mind. Well, unfortunately though, Ray, once again, he's feeling a little bit too ill at this point. Although, luckily though, about the fact that he will be back onto the forms of Super Mario RPG during the forms of this particular uh, upcoming weekend and stuff like that. But basically though, it's about the fact that I think something tells me is that uh, Ray did somehow suffer a sore throat. So as a result, he will be better by that time in during in this weekend. So hopefully by that time he will be definitely coming back into, uh, you know what I'm saying, Super Mario RPG. And on top of all that stuff though, is about the fact that yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that the continuation parts of Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance version is going to be delayed. Maybe at some point in next week. Because obviously about that particular point that in addition about the fact that he needs to be able to get himself fully recovered for the sake of the forms of the soul throat. But it's also about the fact that particular point that he needs to be able to memorize not only all the bonus areas. But it's also about the fact that he needs to be able to also memorize every single photo uh, camera um, locations as far as obtaining certain collectibles on that specific mind and all that stuff, which obviously it continues that until Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Game Boy Advance, but for whatever reason on the, the Donkey Kong Country 3, for some reason just completely lacks with the forms of that particular camera picture collectibles, so not exactly sure why that seems to be the case, but either way though, chances are though about the fact that, well, hopefully by that time until next week, that Ray will definitely going to be coming back onto the forms of, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance basically, so either way though, it's kind of unexpected though, because it was expecting about that particular point is going to happen during the forms of today, but I've decided able to go ahead and uh, uh, do this particular more continuation parts of Kirby's Return of Dreamlands Deluxe from now on, especially noticeable because, well to be speaking, I'm also able to say this right now, for the majority of the forms of this week in mind, it's going to be, most notably, the majority of Kirby's Return of Dreamland Deluxe for now. Although, aside from the forms of the weekends, because obviously Super Mario RPG is still going to be able to actually take place in the weekends from now on. Although, hopefully by that time, it's what if we finish up with this game, especially noticeable by that time also that... Well, assuming of course if Ray the Flying Squirrel were able to actually also coming back onto Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Advance. Hopefully once he's able to actually finish that particular game up, obviously about that particular point that the uploading schedule should be normal by then. Especially noticeable with the forms of the continuation parts of um, Sonic Frontiers and Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, any name you rest. Apologize for that particular season, it's gone a little bit messy when it comes to the forms of the uploading schedules alike. Because I almost assume it's going to go pretty well and all that stuff. But as a, re as a result for that particular matter though, it's about the fact that there are some, a lot of 
complications to be involved around here, and on top of all that stuff, though, is about the fact that sometimes, though, we stumbled across into quite a few technical issues here and there. And on top of all that stuff, though, is about the fact that, you know, trying to get back into the swing of things when it comes to the forms of uploading schedules alike, it still feels really, really significantly slower. Like, way more slower than the forms of how it does it on not only 2021, but also with 2022. Mainly because about the fact that I was being busy doing other stuff, you know? So, either way, though, let's just go ahead and uh, take on Bonkers. In some cases, uh, you know, Bonkers EX. So, hopefully, we're able to actually obtain the Hammer uh, copy ability once we do manage to finish him off like so. Even though, I will admit, though, right away, though, sometimes that when it comes to dealing with the forms of certain mini-bosses or the majority of the bosses in the game, then obviously, it will be extremely difficult in extra mode because sometimes I was being so hasty sometimes. So... There we go, we got ourselves the hammer copy ability for one notable reason for it. That's, of course, the energy sphere I'm about to go after, so... And exponentially speaking, though, is about the fact that one thing I should probably point things out is the, about the fact that, well, today's day is, of course, the, uh, the 15th of August today, in some cases in 2023 today, and it looks like about that time until tomorrow, it will be the halfway point of August for this year. So because of that, though, I can't believe time flies, you know, especially noticeable after playing through a lot of games recently, specifically Super Mario RPG, just because the Switch remake is definitely coming. And on top of all that stuff, though, about the fact that, uh, you know, with the amount of recording sessions we have to do. And also, like I said before, since I'm going to be playing through Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo Classic Mini on my own time for a bit, because the forms of the Switch remake, it was definitely still going to be approaching. So because of that, though, yeah, everything else will be pretty much encountered for, for the sake of the forms of how come the, the time itself just went, you know, flying by every time whenever we do some ma the majority of the things. So... Yeah, that's what I can really say about this. So, anyway, a few things I want to explain for this point, and that's what have to be by the forms of... There was actually a user called, uh, Mr. Rubber Ducky, I think is what it says anyway. He did able to actually answer the question by saying about the fact that it's the, uh, post credit scenes are being overused in, uh, movies, and it looks like the majority of those movies, it seems to be yes, which as a result about that particular point where you know, potential sequels are coming, or potentially speaking, something else is about to happen. So, a bit either way, though, I can totally see why that about the fact that they sometimes manage to able to use post credit scenes a lot throughout the majority of the forms of the future years to come, especially noticeable because of, you know, potential sequel, or perhaps even maybe a potential spin-off, or anything else like that. So, because of that, though, one of those examples in particular, which appears to be buddy forms of, you know, Fast X, and especially noticeable with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which I'm probably not going to mention about those right now, because obviously it contains some bit of spoiler details. So, either way, though, let's not get ahead of ourselves. And, uh, another thing is worth noting for, and that's what has to be by the forms of recently, that Sonic Superstars did somehow received, um, three music so far. Like, for instance, about the fact that there's actually music, likely or so, for the sake of the forms of Bridge Island Zone, specifically, uh, the LEGO Sonic Speed Sphere Challenge version of it, or something like that. In addition to that, they also released a title screen music for the sake of the forms of Sonic Superstars, and my god, the music is really, really dang good so far. Although, mind you, I haven't exactly got my thoughts or my first impressions of the actual music so far, but that's just because about that specific point that well, we still have no idea when that game is going to be releasing during that time, but I'm sure I'm still pretty excited for it, especially noticeable concerning about that particular point where, obviously about the fact that we've almost nearly at the end of the forms of August, like I said before, well, mind you about the fact that we're still technically on the first half of the forms of August, despite the fact that I didn't actually exactly got anything new, so far, for the sake of the forms of this month, apart from the fact that we're relatively speaking, though, as far as what, uh, I believe Ray has already explained about this, uh, or something like that, that basically we finally managed to go ourselves Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass, so meaning about that we can now, now able to actually decide able to be all set, when it comes to able to potentially try to do with the Splatoon Trilogy or something like that, 
Although it's difficult to tell because obviously about that specific point where, you know, we're still getting distracted by the forms of a lot of Let's Plays from now on. So, anywho though, um, speaking of which though, it's about the fact that we actually stumbled across into a solution about that specific point that you already know about the fact that Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption is finally coming onto the Nintendo Switch alongside with the PlayStation 4 version as well. Well, apparently though, for what I found out, on the Switch version where it comes to the gigabyte storage, um, as far as what I did found out, I think it's gonna take up as in 11.4 gigabyte storage where it comes to likely, uh, you know, downloading the game digitally for Red Dead Redemption. So, yeah, that's almost like pretty big. Well, nowhere near, well, nowhere near as big as the forms of how it does it for Mortal Kombat 1 coming up. Like, Good lord, I was not expecting with that specific massive uh, storage space for the sake of the forms if you're trying to able to download one of those games coming up. But either way though, that's what I can really say about that I guess. So, yeah. And uh, another thing is worth noting for, and that's what appears to be about the fact that out of nowhere, is that the Super Mario Bros. movie, specifically the god-awful 1993 film, uh, apparently though, it's about to able to get ourselves a 4K remastered version in Japanese version or something. So, either way though, no idea why they managed to able to bring this up. I'm guessing it's because it might be something worth noting for for the sake of the 30th anniversary coming up for the sake of the forms of this, the majority of the forms of that particular god awful movie itself. Because honestly, that the animated version is still, it's pretty better, all things can what? How do I die there? Ah, oh, god dang it, Kabo! Why did you manage to be able to hurt me when I was busy doing the forms of Flare Beam? Ah, oh, jeez, maybe I did somehow did not finish him off. Okay, that's that's fine for me because obviously we can still able to actually activate this anyway. So. Anyways though, so yeah, you probably already know about the fact that every time when you do manage to wear certain masks, that uh, sometimes it gets like some very unique sounds. Every time when if you do manage to able to pull off, you know what I mean about the fact that with certain actions, like for instance with super abilities and all that stuff, but regardless of anything else though, that's as far as I can usually just try to able to point things out. Especially noticeable concerning about that specific point where Obviously, differently than the forms of Barry does it on the regular mode, I'm actually starting to be able to be wearing certain masks based off on the forms of Kirby's past villains. For instance, about the fact that, since about the fact that, unfortunately I didn't seem able to actually wear one of those masks during the forms of In-World 1, that's just because I've already explained about the forms of what the difference is between normal mode compared to the forms of any extra mode. So, either way, that, that was might as well be saying something. So, for instance, in uh, World 2, we're going to be using King Dedede Mask for now to able to make it more likely a representing with the forms of the final boss in the forms of in Kirby's Dreamland 1 for the Game Boy. And as far as the later worlds to come, we're able to actually select quite a few uh, villain masks, like for instance with uh, Nightmare Wizard from uh, Kirby's Adventure, Dark Matter from the likes of the forms of Kirby's Dreamland 2, I would say Marks from the likes of Kirby Superstar, and uh, Zero based off from Kirby's Dreamland 3, and um, also there's the forms of uh, uh, Manipula from the likes of Kirby Squeed Squad somewhere. So, but either way though, yeah, it's it's not possible for me to able to actually wear certain masks, because I know for a fact that we've already wear some of them because of the forms of the mission structure for the sake of the forms of Merry Megaland, but still, I couldn't care less about it, especially noticeable because, you know, thankfully we can now able to move on to the forms of a true platforming uh, department, so yeah, that might be saying something, so. And also, did you know about the fact that I believe in the Japanese version of the 1993 version of the Mario Bros. movie with the live-action god-awful version, or that movie for that matter? Uh, apparently though, the Japanese version of the film is actually known as Super Mario, Goddess of the Demon a Empire. So, I did not know that was the case, especially noticeable because, well, Usually, relatively speaking, though, whenever I've seen the English version of that specific movie, yeah, no wonder why that movie got box office bombs, which thankfully the animated ver uh, the animated film did somehow manage to succeed, the actual box office department. Oh, and speaking of the forms of the box office department, 
Well, it seems to be more specifically, and that's what appears to be that Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is now on to the top 10, uh, you know, highest grossing films in 2023 so far. Like, it's actually now on the 10th spot, so it's almost catching up to, uh, beating up the forms of the Little Mermaid live-action movie for sure, because obviously about that specific point that I'm probably still not going to see that film anyway, because either way, that usually for Mario and uh, any other films I could possibly think about it, that I always care the most. So, anywho though, and um, on top of all that stuff though, is about the fact that I think Operama, I think it's what it says anyway, uh, is now on the seventh spot in Journey Forms of the top 10 highest grossing films in 2023 so far. And still, that Barbie movie is almost catching up to the number one spot, which as a result, it would be kind of uh, ridiculous kind of thing about it, able to actually realize that film just got a massive, massive boost for that particular box office earnings, especially noticeable for that specific point that despite that Mario is not going to give up stopping for the sake of the forms of the actual theatrical run, but either way though, I guess that might be a good thing, especially noticeable because, you know, everyone loves Super Mario Bros. movies so much, specifically the, the newest one, basically. So because of that though, despite what the forms of how critics seem to think that it's mixed back, and I was like, I disagree, especially noticeable, it's actually a really good time, so, but I'm still really looking forward to the sequel for the film, assuming, of course, if the writer's strike is still going on at this point, especially noticeable, because, now, for what I've heard about the fact that when it comes to the forms of the filming set, for the likes of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3, uh, it somehow is not going to be evolving actors, which I guess that makes it pretty obvious, because the forms of the writer's strike is going on, so, yeah, that might actually make up for it, so... Anywho, though. Oh, yeah, and another thing is worth noting for, and that's what appears to be about the fact that we actually got ourselves the final results during the forms of the latest uh, Splatfest for the sake of the forms of Splatoon 3. And as a result, you know with the forms of those three different catalogs, which there are uh, both money, fame, and love. And as it turns out, that money did somehow win. So, either way, though... Yeah, that's the prime example of how a lot of people prefer money, because obviously they want to buy stuff, which just seems very obvious with all that. New films they really want to see, and on top of that, certain films when it comes to DVD and Blu-ray releases, including 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays during that specific period, and on top of that, most notably, video games such as myself. Especially noticeable if you really want able to start able to actually collecting some whole bunch of merchandise when it comes to like plushies and statues and you name the rest. Oh, while on the subject with the forms of DVD and Blu-ray stuff, specifically physical media stuff, well, it seems it's kind of unfortunate that uh, Disney is in deep, deep trouble right now. What do I mean by that though? Well, specifically, uh, it only happens in journey forms within Australia slash New Zealand from now on. Because what happens was, is that what I've noticed recently, that Disney is ending the physical media in a part of the world. Specifically, in Australia and New Zealand. Meaning, about the fact that when it comes to new films, it's about to be on a development. Or to be more specifically, it's going to be on its way during that specific period. Which there are... Well, let's just say Elemental, or perhaps even maybe with the forms of Inside Out 2 for next year, or perhaps even maybe any other films for that matter. Well, suffice to say, for Australia and New Zealand, well, they pretty much got very unlucky for that regard, when it comes to likely for its, you know, massive closure for the likes of the physical media, for certain stuff, which is very unfortunate. I'm guessing because, you know, the actual money strategy just doesn't seem to able to work out as well. Or perhaps even maybe because the actual box office doesn't seem to able to get high expectations so far for this year. Apart from one, which appears to be, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is still, well, you know, it's still doing pretty well. So, which that's the reason why, that I seem to believe that when it comes to some other films so far, when it comes to the forms of likely or so for uh, any other series for that matter, well, as far as I'm aware about the fact that, you know, as I said before, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is still, is still doing pretty well, compared to the forms of how it does not on any other, like, Marvel projects for this year, which are 
you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and especially noticeable with the forms of the Little Mermaid's god-awful live-action movie, and Indiana Jones in a Dial of Destiny, uh, the actual box office doesn't seem able to get high expectations, especially noticeable because, well, real to be speaking, though, we now actually got ourselves a massive competition when it comes to the forms of some other films from that regard, which there are, you know, the Super Mario Bros. movie and Barbie, and especially noticeable with the forms of other films for that matter, they seemed able to actually get themselves, you know, between Mario and Barbie, they somehow managed to succeed that accomplishment when it comes to the forms of reaching one billion dollar mark. So, when it comes to box office um, stuff anyway, so... I mean, the only thing I'm kind of worried about, and that's what appears to be about the fact that it might do the same thing uh, when it comes to the forms of ditching the actual uh, physical media for not only in America, but also in the Japanese or Japan, or perhaps even most notably the UK release, or something related to that. Well, I it's kind of hard to tell at this point, because relatively speaking now about that specific point, I found that particular news quite shocking, and especially noticeable, it's kind of like... Uh, a bad news for that regard, especially noticeable because what I was expecting to try to able to complete, imagine if I was trying to able to be hyped about Inside Out 2 or potentially speaking with, I don't know, Toy Story 5 or something like that. Obviously, if the actual DVD and Blu-ray physical runs never happened, during the forms of in Australia and New Zealand throughout, uh, that will be kind of unfortunate. Well, at least that's the only option you can able to actually watch those films every now and then. Well, assuming if they're about to be releasing, and that's of course not only uh, digital download services, but also with the Disney Plus subscription. So because of that though, they got a lot of over-reliance of the forms of the Disney Plus subscription services, which Again, don't get me wrong, I still find this to be an okay service to me though, but it's just about the fact that, unfortunately though, they start able to losing some even more subscribers, especially no sports bad enough that the actual price count is about to increase, and then, this is pretty ridiculous, especially noticeable because relatively speaking though, that, well, I did have some fun times with Disney+, Plus, all things considered, in the past, since in lockdown, but every once in a while though, they start able to realize that, they start able to actually add in some very unnecessary uh, shows for specifically for all these mini series. Like I know for a fact that, well, relatively speaking, um, whenever I managed to look back onto the forms of Secret Invasion ever since in a couple of weeks ago, um, I will have to admit it though right away. I think Secret Invasion is not very great. Like I. It's an interesting concept, but it's just that the execution though, especially noticeable with the forms of that particular finale uh, episode, it seems to able to actually get itself, well, it's hard to say, because I know for a fact it's been a couple of weeks ago since I actually have uh, managed able to actually last seen uh, Secret Invasion as far as this is concerned, so, but either way. Oh, and speaking of Disney Plus though, and that's what it appears to be about the fact that, well, they fall in the forms of the Netflix's footsteps. Like, for instance, that Disney will be uh, applying anti uh, password sharing features to uh, Disney Plus until 2024. Not exactly sure what that means though, but it did say on the forms of that little description in the bottom, at least according to IGN News. That's what appears to be that Disney Plus to crack down on password sharing starting on next year in 2024, which, oh boy, I have no words to able to know something like this. Especially noticeable because, well, I think that's as far as I can say about this, I guess. I mean, sure, it might be a little bit different, or I don't know. I just got nothing else to say about this for the most part, because it seems that Disney is actually going into a massive, massive, massive downhill at this point. Especially noticeable, it's like, everything else gets a bit more convoluted, or in some cases, complicated throughout. So, yeah, I just got no words. So, anywho, though, um... I guess as far as I can say about this, I guess, for this point, especially noticeable, well, I was expecting if I was trying to able to mention something else for that matter, but honestly, guys, aside from the fact that everything else goes all a little bit of a turnaround when it comes to the forms of Disney as a copy itself this at this point in time, but um, still, uh, it just feels kind of feels a bit all over the place right now. With all this like streaming exclusives and especially noticeable with the forms of other content needs to be 
I don't know about that. Especially noticeable for what I've heard about the fact that they're doing some reshots for uh, certain films for that matter. Because I know for a fact that, well, as far as I've heard, that uh, when it comes to Phase 4, while looking back in Phase 4, when it comes to MCU, uh, you know what I mean with uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, they seem to able to actually get a lot, I mean a lot of minutes, thanks to the forms of uh, not only certain films, but also with the forms of uh, Disney Plus exclusive series. Like, you know what I mean about the fact that not only does it add you know, certain films, but also with uh, mini-series for that matter, they somehow managed to able to get a lot of minutes total time. Like, that's actually pretty outrageous with that specific uh, things itself in mind. I think it will continue that during the forms of Phase 5 as well, although don't quote me on that, I may be wrong, but we'll have to wait and see what happens in during the forms of the later uh, years to come, especially noticeable that we still on the forms of the beginning portion, barely, for the sake of the forms of, uh, you know what I'm saying with Phase 5, before we move on to Phase 6, in during the future times, so... Yeah, it's pretty insane if you ask me, so, but either way though, um... Again, there's not much else you can say, apart from the fact that hopefully that Ray the Flying Squirrel, aside from the fact that he'll still be able to do Super Mario RPG for this particular upcoming weekend, but also that he'll eventually come back onto, uh... Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Advance until next Tuesday and onwards. So, and exponentially speaking, now hopefully he'll be better by that time until in this Friday because seriously, we need to get back onto the swing of things as you probably already expect. So, although I was expecting something as well, that it was originally about that specific point where that I was expecting that this Let's Play should be finished by uh, the beginning portion of September. But as it turns out, that since I'm going to be able to be focusing on multiple uploading schedules for Kirby's Return of Dreamland Deluxe from now on, just able to catch up for a swing of things, that uh, exponentially we might be able to make things a bit possible that this entire Let's Play should be finished by that specific point in, let's just say, by the end of August sometime? Well, it's pretty tricky to tell, especially noticeable because, well, relatively speaking, we still got a whole lot of content to go through, so... And quite frankly, though, about the specific point that, uh, well, there's nothing more to add. Although, exponentially, if we somehow managed to be able to get all the way to the very end of uh, August anyway, that, as I mentioned this before, that this summer's gone a bit, you know, a bit messy when it comes to the forms of uploading schedules. Well, the only time exception is, of course, June, and uh, maybe a little bit of July, but when it comes to the forms of both July and August, when it comes to uploading schedules alike, everything else goes all pretty messy. Although, hopefully by that time into on September and onwards, then hopefully things goes back into its normal state. And especially it's bad enough about that specific point that we're still hoping for waiting for, uh, the third and final free DLC update for uh, Sonic Frontiers. That also means about the fact that there's going to be some occasional delays for uh, Sonic Frontiers when it comes to Let's Plays department. So, yeah, everything else goes all, all over the place recently, so... But, uh, you know, as we established earlier, hopefully we'll be back on track once we're able to finish up with certain other games, you know? And exponentially speaking though, like I said before, is that when it comes to the forms of the majority of extra mode in mind, it might actually felt a bit lengthy, especially no support with death situations like this one. Although thankfully though, that as you probably already expect, if you do manage to die by the forms of the Sphere Dumo, as you can tell, Thankfully, though, the checkpoint is very generous, especially noticeable you don't have to worry about with this entire, uh, scrolling segment again, so that might be pretty generous, you know? Alright then, come on then, Sphere Duma, let's see what you've got, again. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's as far as I can say about the forms of today's discussion at this point, folks. Although, then again, I would like to be able to explain something else when it comes to, like, gaming-related things. But, uh, still, about that specific point about the fact that, well, unfortunately to tell you, and that's what appears to be about the fact that I don't think it's possible for me to be able to actually get myself not only Green Bodo for Mario Kart Tour, but also with uh, Green Bodo Turbo Kart as well. Because, you know what I'm saying about the fact that no wonder why I hated the actual stupid tier system to begin with. Well, not the actual tier system as the actual what the ranking 
of uh, worst to best uh, games or worst to best films syndrome. Like I've seen a lot of tier lists for any other like audiences out there. They seemed able to actually do a great, really, really great job. For able to actually get their different opinions of certain stuff. I'm more on about with the falls of the ranking cup system, which as a result, I'm still not a big fan of this system. Especially noticeable, it gives me some less chances to able to give me some great rewards. Although I can still able to technically try to get some more rupees, I guess, but that's about it basically, as far as I can think about it. Alright, so we're now going to be moving on to the ending portion of Raisin Ruins before we move on to Onion Ocean, specifically until tomorrow. And that would be a perfect uh, opportunity to able to go back onto Onion Ocean, specifically because we still are on the forms of the summer season. So as a result, it makes it a little bit more of a tropical summer themed uh, setting and stuff like that. So. Oh, and by the way, every time whenever you. Uh, begin the actual boss fight in Journey Falls of any extra mode. Uh, every once in a while you do come across to a maximum tomato, just in case you do definitely need it, for the sake of the forms of trying to able to do with some harder variations of certain bosses as you probably pretty much already expect. Oh yeah, speaking of the forms of the maximum tomato items, uh, I'm probably not going to use them in the extra mode, but that's just because, well, relatively speaking though, I'm actually going to be able to try to save them up for the final portion of the game. Because of that though, that's the primary example of how that I'm actually going to be able to try to able to sort things out towards the end game, so... And yeah, with the actual sand uh, technique like I just did for about a few seconds ago, that certainly did actually help me quite a lot. Even though sometimes though about the fact that I uh, occasionally get hit most of the time. So, un unfortunately for me anyway, I think this is where the point I'm actually almost going to be dying. Unless, if I was trying to able to accept to able to utilize the energy drink, well, I was expecting to able to try to bring it out, but uh, I somehow got distracted by the forms of some of these uh, attacks that I do need to be able to dodge at one point. Especially noticeable because, well, like I said before, it's about the fact that extra mode is really tough. And, oh, come on! Oh, that's so underwhelming for that performance. Even though I was really close to able to actually finish him off. I'm guessing that I somehow got distracted about that specific point that I was desperately want to get the energy drink, but because of this particular Falcon PUNCH kind of technique that he pulls off, then obviously it caught me off guard, so... Uh, oh well, I suppose it really doesn't matter though, because, you know, they are rarely going to be able to actually get some moments where, uh, you know, Sometimes attack patterns might throw you off at points, so at least there's nothing else to worry about when it comes to able to get the game over because obviously this game is super generous with extra lives. Even though, unlike in the old school days, when it comes to like Kirby's Dreamland 1 and Kirby's Adventure, that you can get extra lives from there, but sometimes though, that you know, it's actually pretty difficult to able to attain um, quite a lot of extra lives, exponentially speaking, so... But, uh, anywho, um, obviously about that specific point as well, I suppose this is the last thing I want to mention about, and that's what appears to me about that specific point where, well, you know what I mean about the fact that recently, uh, Stuart kept King 74, he somehow managed to able to still continue things on in, uh, Pokemon Fire Red, and uh, all that jazz, so uh, yeah, that's all I can really say about here. Although technically speaking though, about that specific point, I think on the second week of the vacation tour in Mario Kart Tour, uh, there was actually that one driver that technically I've already got, but I don't really need to able to rebuy her anyway, which is of course Daisy Swimwear. Although the only thing is worth knowing for is just for bragging rights when it comes to level ups, because obviously I'm also able to try my best able to farm as many of those event tokens as much as I possibly could, when it comes to able to buy not only continuous uh, pipe firing, but also about that specific, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, the level up. Um, tickets and stuff like that, with all the characters, carts, gliders, you name the rest. Anyway, so that pretty much wraps it up everything for Raisin Ruins, so now we can able to actually insert the next part for uh, Lord Star Cutter for the second time, 
And um, ultimately though, in addition to that, we can also be able to actually pop over back onto the forms of Merry Megaland to able to obtain the next mask. So, yeah, everything else is all settled by then, despite I did die quite a few times. But that's okay though, because obviously about that specific point, at least I did decently well so far journey forms of any extra mode in mind but still about the fact that i'm actually up for the challenge you know and of course we can now able to actually access to the next world which is of course onion ocean but before we end off for this point right here we need to able to head back into merry mega land again to not only claim certain rewards or anything else like that when it comes to like getting some more stamps when it comes to those specific points worth noting for and of course we can able to actually acclaim the next mask which appears to be body forms of Mr. Toto uh, EX basically so either way though that's as far as we can able to think about it oh it can also manage to able to activate the actual shortcuts that you can able to go back onto not not only story mode but also with the forms of extra mode as well so yeah, exponentially, as you can see, I'm now starting to be wearing the Nightmare Wizard based off from Kirby's Adventure. In some cases, Kirby's Adventure Final Boss. So, yeah, that's the perfect example of why I'm actually going to be dressed up as, like, major villains for the Kirby's past. So, the only one in particular exception, though, and that's what appears to be Zero Two, which I'm not exactly sure why Zero Two Masks was not on here. I suppose bigger sales can be choosers, I guess. So with that being said, we got the ending stuff at this point right here, so join me next time for more of Let's Play of Kirby's Return of Dreamland Deluxe on Extra Mode, is that we're going on to Onion Ocean. So I'll see you guys until tomorrow. Later, fellas.